Appetite for Destruction from TJD. And we got Super Mario 1. Oh boy. Oh wow. This is this is this is pretty intense for Super Mario 1. Okay, alright, get, get the I don't know what I'm getting up there, but just get things. Oh boy. Jeez. 19 seconds into a 30 second course on my first try. I, I, I came so close. Uh, now I'm gonna die so many times getting back there. <laughs> this is really well laid out. Like, how you can just make the jumps exactly when you need to. Very well done. Oh, man. Someday I hope to be able to make levels like this. Like, everything is just timed so perfectly. I don't know how they're doing it. I feel like there's something underneath the lava. Um, that's keeping up with me, or at least that I need to keep up with, and if I slow down, I'm just not gonna make it. Oh. That's why I can't, I can't slow down, gotta go fast. It's just always funny when, uh, you do so good on a first attempt at a level, and then you die and you gotta come back and attempt the part that you one-shot, and it's just like, so much harder now. I've been here before? I think this is the furthest I've been. I don't remember ever having any on-offs. Tell me I'm at the end. Tell me I did it. Tell me I'm amazing. That was it. That's the bridge right there. That's the bridge right there. You know those levels in games, like, after you beat the final boss, where it's like, Escape the tower before everything's destroyed, like, uh, any of Ocarina of Time? This was that. It made me feel the pressure way more than any of those games ever did. Fantastic job.